Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to my Linux experiment. Today we're gonna take a tour of some of the best elementary OS apps available in the App Center. Of course, it's my own list, but your tastes may vary, and depending on the use you make of your computer, some of these might not appeal to you. All these apps adhere to the elementary OS design guidelines and will look great on your desktop. They are all available from the App Center, and while some are free, some are paid. As always, you can choose which price you want to pay from $0 to as much as you like. App Editor So maybe you've installed a bunch of software by now. Your menu might be crowded with some entries you'd like to disappear. If you don't want to uninstall the app, you can at least edit and manage those entries with App Editor. It's a handy program that allows you to change a menu entry into something else, change its category, rename it, change its icon, or even hide it from the menu. Changes might need a logout and login to take effect. Whether you want to customize your menu entries or simply hide some of those, this is the app you need. Desktop folder. You guys want to get some files on the desktop? Don't worry. Even though elementary devs decided that's not allowed by default, desktop folder has you covered. It allows you to create multiple little panels with files, folders or shortcuts on them. You can manage each panel, select its color and its name. You can even add notes and photos to your desktop which you can resize and move as well. Chiano. Got some media files you want to convert? Chiano has you covered. It can handle a multitude of file formats for video, audio and image files. You can convert files by batch, adding multiple files at once. It even lets you pick the output folder. You can choose to output to the original files folder to, or to another directory of your choosing. It's a great little tool to handle media file conversions. Quilter. If you like to write blog posts, books, novels, short stories or anything that has words in it, you might be looking for a distraction-free writing environment. Take a look at Quilter then. It supports Markdown, so you can make it look nice without using too many toolbar buttons. It has a dark mode, a focus mode that highlights only the paragraph you're writing, so you don't get distracted by everything you've already written. And it allows you to preview what your document will look like once you've saved it. It's a great tool for writing, which I use all the time for my small novels and books. Monitor. Less glamorous, but equally useful is Monitor. A simple app to check on which apps are running at a given moment, which CPU load they cause, and to easily kill them if they go nuts. You get the total CPU load, memory load, and it even lets you search for a specific process by name. You can also get the process ID or PID if you ever wanted to kill it from the command line. Resizer. So you need to handle images on a daily basis? Resizing them can become pretty easy with Resizer. You can launch it as a standalone app, but its most useful trick is being integrated as a right-click option in the file manager. Just right-click the file you want to resize, select Resize Image, and select the new height or width. It will automatically maintain the aspect ratio to make sure your image isn't distorted. Color Picker Do you work with a lot of graphical tools? If you need to find and use specific colors, Color Picker is for you. Just launch it and your pointer will turn into a magnifying glass. Hover over the color you want to select, Click, and there you go, you've got your color code in hex, RGB or RGBA. It even keeps your color history so you can find colors you've already picked easily. Planner. Need a simple project management tool with lists and tasks? Planner looks stunning and does the job very nicely. It's pretty simple with creation of multiple projects, then lists inside each project and tasks in each list. Each task can have a description added to make sure you don't forget anything. It keeps track of what you've completed and gives you a little dashboard for each project. You can pick icons for your projects and your list to make sure you can identify them at a glance. There you go guys! Here are my top 8 elementary apps. You can of course find many more in the App Center as well as more full featured apps, but these handy tools have increased my productivity and they look pretty nice aside all other elementary apps. Hope you guys enjoyed and I see you in the next one. Bye! If you enjoyed, please consider liking, subscribing and turning on notifications. You can also follow me on Twitter at the Linux EXP. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.